Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Intentionally Awful Aquariums. Let's get started. Uh, let's see, so difficulty, easy, normal, let's learn the basics. Uh, let's play on normal difficulty. I can turn it on easy, but eh. Anyway, you've been tasked with building a, a small aquarium from scratch here at Sunnyside. Before the investors release any funding, they want to make sure you can handle the basic controls. Complete the objectives in the top right of the screen to prove you know what you're doing. Oh my god, is this like a tutorial that's just like straight up, we're gonna... Uh, we're gonna teach you how to do this with like nothing? Okay, which is the return to home button? Oh, H key to return to the entrance. Gotcha. Oh, I love this tutorial. This is... So... I love it when tutorials don't hold your hands and give you all of the uh, information you, you could ever need. Uh, to just get going without actually being like, alright, next, next, next. Anyway, great stuff. You've unlocked your first round of funding for your aquarium. Use the money to get the basic requirements of your aquarium set up. This is covered in the set of new objectives. By the way, if you need a review, gotcha. Alright, so build basic tanks. Basic tank. Basic tank. Alright, done. I guess I'll put them next to each other. Okay. Basic filter. Oh. Has to be outside? Basic heaters. Some azure damocels to each tank. Decorations to your tank. Okay, orange pellet dispenser. Uh, let's see, how do we rotate? Okay, that that's how we rotate. Okay, tool station. Well, this this can just be anywhere, yeah? Hire an aquarist. Uh, let me figure this out. Okay, staff look after your livestock by making sure they get fed each day, maintaining the equipment. Later on, you'll also need staff to enrich your guest visit. Hire staff in the staff win you. Uh, win, win you. Window. Open it by using the button with the man and woman at the bottom right of the screen. Ah, this one. Okay, so Anna. $16 per day. Anna cut her teeth on hobby tanks at home. So, likes to keep things at small scale. Okay, and then open the aquarium. Okay, well done. Your basic aquarium is up and running and your first guest has arrived. Whenever a guest enters your aquarium, they'll pay some money to enter. In addition, as they experience your displays, they'll reward you with ecology points, which you can use to unlock new animals for your aquarium. This is really cool, actually. Alright, great job. You've started researching a new animal, the Orchid Dottyback. As you earn more ecology points, you will make progress towards unlocking it. As you can see, your progress in the bottom left of the screen. Okay. Name your aquarium when you. Sure, why not? This is a really slick little management game. I Obviously, there's a whole bunch of things to do. Okay, pause the game, unpause the game. Expand your floor space. Okay, we've unlocked our first fish. Uh, buy some from your aquarium. Ex expand your... Okay. Can I? These are 8 out of 8, so we probably want to get a, a separate aquarium for one of these. Alternatively, uh, how much money do we have? We've got plenty. So click and drag. Expand your floor space. Make room for a new tank. Select the expand tool from the top left of the screen. No, that's move. Expand. One more row. Not terribly expensive. Let's get one more tank up in here. Okay, moving decorations and animals. Did you know you can move animals and decorations between tanks? First select the tank containing the object you wish to move, then move tool by pressing M. Or using the button in the top left. Now click on the icon of the object you want to move directly beneath the window's tank. Now you've picked up the object, you can place it somewhere else.
Okay, so that works well enough. Okay. Two of those. Two of those. Get some decorations. Uh, rocks. And we also want a pellet, pellet feeder. I like the music, too. It's, it's, uh, snazzy. It's, oh, how do I describe it? I don't know. I guess it's just fun, fun to listen to. There we go. Okay, so that's, that's a better aquarium so far. Build a large tank. Click and drag. Okay, practice moving a tank. Already done that. Okay. Basic heater. Basic filter. That's enough. So eventually for even bigger tanks, we'll need more. But we'll do that later. Okay. What kind of fish can we put in here? Kind of bit of both. All right. Oh. I guess it actually wants me to put all six orchid dotty bags in there. All right, we'll make it do the tank. Who cares? When in doubt, infinite, uh, infinite aquariums. I. It amuses me to no end that nobody seems to mind the fact that this aquarium seems, uh, seems to have a life of its own. And is is currently just spitting out uh, resources. Resources? Oh, that's a tool station. We might need another one. We'll see. Okay, so dotty bags. There we go. It doesn't want me to have uh, heterogeneous uh, fish stuff. Each feeder can support more than one tank. Good to know. Thank you for the Friday bits, Nick Testa. All right. You may have noticed a set of icons attached to each animal you research and acquire. These are known as their care requirements. Failure to meet these will reduce the health of your animals and lead to death. Your investors have arranged for you to access a new fish called the Half and Half Chromus. Let's take a look at its care requirements. The Half and Half Chromus is a requirement you haven't encountered before. It's a shoaler. This means it likes to be with a minimum number of its own kind. Demonstrate your understanding of care requirements by satisfying the requirements of Half and Half Chromus in a new tank. Okay, let's expand further. So, is each tile 10? Yeah, $10. And it doesn't look like the price goes up at all. It just takes a while. Well, that's cool. This is cool. I like it a lot. Let's make it a big tank. Okay, half and half. So it needs... Three ecology? Oh. Number of ecology points earned whenever a guest views this. Size, space it takes up, so it needs four total. Orange pellets, and it needs water quality of 50%. Okay, there we go. Let's get some rocks. And... these. Okay, now you've got a few different species of fish in your aquarium. You should be able to rank up soon. Ranking up will instantly unlock new equipment, decorations, and facilities and increase the repertoire of animals which are available to research. There's more. The higher your rank, the more guests you attract, and the more they are willing to pay to enter your aquarium. Ranking up occurs as a result of generating prestige points. These are earned whenever a guest enjoys something in your aquarium. There are many ways to earn prestige, but you'll earn the majority with your animals, tanks, and decorations. Your next objective is to rank up, which you'll be able to unlock animals required for your remaining objectives. All right, rank up. Okay, King Damocel. Despite his bold coloring, this fish is shy and can often be picked on by more confident tank mates. And we got some, a staff door, a combi mini, Oh, heating and filtering, saving you space and maintenance, but it's only suitable for the smallest of tanks, and we also have a driftwood cave for decoration. Okay, now you're ranked two, you have access to more animals, and you're going to unlock them one at a time to ensure each of their care requirements are met. So, King Damocel is 
needs a higher water quality. Orange pellets. Wimp cannot be housed with a bully. And tropical. Heat must be greater than or equal to the water temp. Okay, well that's fine. Okay, uh, so where's the- oh, there's the research screen down there. And this is prestige. Uh, let's see. Prestige rank, guest thoughts. Neat. I really dig this music. I, I can't actually, uh, understate how- how just pleasant it is to listen to. Well, honestly, let's just, uh, kill time while we wait for it to come in. Because we're just waiting for the ecology points. Hey, thank you, Ice! Uh, for the two-month resub. Okay, new animals unlocked. King Damocel. Alright, you've unlocked the King Damocel. Uh, Democel? I don't know. Anyway, let's take a look. The King Demoswal is a timid beauty. In other words, a wimp. Don't house him with any other animals with the bully tag. Alright. Let's make a big old tank. Okay, so who's a bully? How do we know? It doesn't look like any of these have a bully tag. Okay. Oh, basic heater. Combi mini. Oh, filter power. That's less reliable. Honestly, it's probably best to just keep up with the the standard setup that I've been using this entire time. Okay, so this one's the bully. We'll pester wimps. Arabian blue line dotty back. Okay, so extra points. Gotcha. My tool rack's in the way. Oh, so it is. I should fix that. I didn't even immediately uh, think of that. I'll, I'll have to get a better tool rack set up at some point. Okay, so we've got the Arabian Dottie back. Pugnacious little fellow. They're bullies and will terrify any animal with a wimp tag. Such as the King Damocel you unlocked earlier. Okay, well, let's let's get a couple more... Uh, oh. Yeah. Let's get a couple more King Damocels in here. Then let's actually move some fish over. Can I move the... Okay, I can probably move the fish. Okay. One of your equipment is broken down. This will cause it to slowly lose effectiveness over time. Staff member with the fixing role will automatically retrieve the toolkit and remedy the problem. Many pieces of equipment fail at the same time. You may want to consider hiring more staff. Building additional tool stations or raising the priority of the fixing role of your staff members. Okay, what we should do is slow down and pause. Okay, so that's that's how I move fish. Tank is full. Okay. So that should be fine. So we probably want to hire somebody else. Oops. Uh, ain't working probably because I have too many tanks open. Let's see if we can fix this. Oh, I feel like I'm playing open TTD again. Okay, there we go. So feeding, fixing. Yeah, sure, we'll hire Harry. And Wade. I wonder if they level up. I hope they do. Okay. So how do we set priorities? Manage. Let's do Harry? So I can set them to zones, I can fire them. Talents. What's this? Oh, that just maybe picks them up. How do we set priorities? View rate overlay. 
Tank capacity. Okay, that's helpful. Point totals. Guest needs. Well, we don't have any yet. Toggle tasks. No. Warnings. Walls. Windows. Close all windows. It still doesn't set the priority list, though. Nope, that's, that's not what I'm looking for. I don't actually see a priorities set up yet. Okay, so that's that's at half capacity. I can get at least one of these. Oof, and they're big suckers too. Okay, close that. So next up is the yellow tank. Well, I think things will get uh, fixed up as we go along. Okay, they do, but you have to give them a raise. And you get to pick the skill they get. Okay, that's good. So yellow tang, prestige, even bigger fish, requires green pellets, and plant lover. Okay, so we'll want to expand the aquarium. I wonder if there's a, uh... There's... Like, a reason against, uh... Getting long tanks. If anybody actually knows this game, uh, I don't mind uh, a couple of like little tip bonuses for these. Priorities are individuals for your workers. Let's use set. Okay, so I guess I just have to find. Uh, let's check Harry. Oh, these are the priorities. Okay, it's these bars here. It wasn't immediately obvious the first time I looked at it. I just figured that it had something to do with, like, efficiency, because it was green. Okay, so we want to get another tank. We might as well prep it for the for the tang. Okay, and it needed plants. Oh. Sucker wants plants. Sucker's gonna get plants. And honestly, it seems like there's no reason why I shouldn't just go nuts with, uh, decorations. We'll make better, uh, better aquariums as we go along. Okay, so we got the yellow tang. Okay, let's take a look. The yellow tang is a higher water quality requirement than the other animals. Therefore, you may need to have more filters or less fish in the tank. Notice that they also eat a different type of food than the other animals. Make sure you build a green pellet dispenser that your staff can fin it, uh, feed it. Finally, the yellow tang likes plants. How's them in a tank with at least one plant per tang? Gotcha. Alright. Well, I can have two. Okay, black bar, soldier fish. Dislikes lights. Cannot be housed in a tank with light tank lights attached. All right, also requires a hidey hole. All right, we'll work on that. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll just let that yellow tang live alone for now. Maybe? I could get another filter or something. Okay, well, I guess we just wait. Yeah, this is neat. It might not be the most dynamic of uh, management games, but it's certainly uh, proving to be well made. This would be a really cool game to actually just have in an aquarium. Like, as a kid, this would have been a really cool thing to just, like, walk into an aquarium and, like, find on, like, one of the consoles. And it's like, here's kind of a vague idea on how to run an aquarium. Okay, so Big Sucker likes caves, no light. Water quality needs to be a little bit higher. Oh, shoot. I need to feed the other sucker. Okay, so you've unlocked the black bar soldier fish. Uh, they are nocturnal, so they like to have a cave to hang out in. You, uh, When you've reached rank 2, you unlock the driftwood cove. Cave decoration, which provides cave. So make sure you add one uh, to your black bar soldier fish tank. Also note, they just like lights. You don't have to worry about this right now, but later you'll need to light your tanks for certain plants and corals. So you'll need to steer clear of the black, far, black bar soldier fish in those tanks. I'm stumbling over my words. Anyway. 
I guess the other thing I could do here. You know what? Um, I forgot to feed the fish. Shit. That's bad. I think it died. Or is dying or might die. Okay. It's not dead yet. Good. Good, good, good. Now I'm going to do a double combi mini here instead. That should raise the water quality enough that I can fit another, uh... Another yellow tang in here. Without cutting the audio, uh, audio, the water quality too much. Okay. Uh, we're probably gonna want another tool station a bit around now as well. I'll work on that in a bit. We'll need some more space, I think, for that. Let's see, is the audio glitching out for anyone? It might be. This game has, um... This game's pretty good, uh, but we're having audio glitching issues loading into it. So, it would not surprise me. If it, uh, doesn't have some, like, glitchy biz business here and there. Alright, so this is the... Oh, boy. Okay, one of your guests has grown tired. Build some benches so they have somewhere to sit and rest. You'll find them in the facility section. Gotcha. Can I... Can I get more? Yeah, apart from orange, yeah. I think we'll be okay. All right, so let's let's expand this aquarium. Let's close these, as this is starting to become a problem. All right. Uh, let's see. So this is bench. Bench. Oops. Okay, so we generally would like to have something like that. The aquarium is looking great. Your final challenge is to reach a target amount of prestige and maintain that for a period of time. That should be easy. Get uh, some more benches. Doesn't look like we can do snacks or anything like that. I think the food bins are infinite supply, so you don't need new ones for each tank. As long as a worker can take the food uh, bin to each tank. Yeah. Okay, um... Take that off. So, 200 feet... 200 food. It doesn't say how much these actually use or require. It does look like they run out. Okay, has a capacity of 200 orange pellets. Refilled at the beginning of each day. Okay, full refill doesn't cost any money. So that's, that's what we need to, um, keep in mind, effectively. Let's see. We are just hanging there. I guess we can make, uh, oops. We can get one more set of aquariums. Unfortunately, almost everybody seems to be just, um, bumming around, like, the initial section. And we might need a little bit more than that. Okay. Uh, so let's... Get a couple of these. Okay, so we want fish. High prestige fish. Yellow tang. Let's pause for a second. So two yellow tangs, which means we actually need another combi mini here. That should be fine. What I can actually do, what I, I, I might start doing is just uh, putting the feed. I am losing track of things. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just start sneaking the food back behind here or something like that. Maybe, maybe not. You have a staff door, so if you build walls with the door, you can make staff only areas. Yeah, but we don't have the, uh, we don't have the need for that right now. Eventually we will. You are totally correct on that one. Okay. Oh, interesting. 
So, the uh, the cave decoration provides three hidey hole. Uh, so it can support two soldier fishes. Up oh, three soldier fishes, in fact. So I could have made a bigger, bigger tank. That's nice to know. Well, one thing about prestige is it doesn't really care how stupid your tank is uh, as long as it's full. Free prestige just by jamming rocks in these. Hopefully we get some al alternate uh, varieties in the future. All right, I was gonna get another uh, toolbox. Just in case, I think we'll be okay. We should have plenty of food. Move that out of the way a little bit. Yeah, so it looks like people do tend to be a little bit uh, front-oriented. I don't know if we're gonna have tech in this game that like really, uh, really allows us to do uh, platforms. Build them at the back of deep tanks to allow staff access. That's neat. And walls and staircases and stuff. Yeah, I'll mess with these. Um, but I don't know if we can actually um, root people through this. It, it looks like they distribute pretty well. Uh, but I don't know how many of you guys go to aquariums often. Uh, but, you know, they, they try and make you go effectively through a maze of the entire aquarium before you reach the exit. It's, it's good design because that way, you know, you're there as long as possible. Uh, and see everything, too. And I don't know if this game is going to let you do that or not. Because it would be kind of neat if there's the entrance, if you could set an entrance door and an exit or something like that. I would like that. We'll see. We'll have to see how it goes. Anyway, you've built Sunnyside up to be a great little aquarium and people have started to take notice. You've received a job offer to run larger aquariums over, uh, a larger aquarium over in North Woods. You can continue to build here at Sunnyside for as long as you want. This message will stay in your message log, accessible via the button on the bottom left, until you're ready. When you're ready to move on to bigger and better things, let, it, let me know. Sure, why not? I don't know if we can unlock new things, but I figure we might as well just kind of keep working up our our working our way up. Anyway, establish your name by refurbi refurbishing this old aquarium. <laughs>